so before going to start our course let us see where we can write our python code we can download the software from the online or we can use the online compiler which is also bit size for those who are taking this course on the mobile device such as iphone ipad or any android mobile devices they can go for the online compiler and test your code there so for this online compiler we will be writing coding ground is the famous online compiler which is a part of a tutorial point so click on it the list of all the compilers for any programming language are available here so go to your python search for the python click the latest latest one which we will be using for this entire course this will take you to the page where we will be writing the code so this is the online compiler here we will be writing our code and our output will be displayed at the bottom so if you press enter the output will be displayed here but i'll be using the software which i'll be downloading from the python official official site go to the google type python search for the python and there is a first link python.org which is the official site for the python go for it go for the download tab here there are two versions 2.7.9 and 3.4.2 this is the latest version and click on 3.4.2 to get the latest version once you click it it will take to the page asking you what operating system you are using so here we will be selecting whether it is a macintosh or windows so ours is a windows so we will be clicking on this last but one so once you click on this your software will be downloaded to your system once the download is finished install it on your system so once you install it i will show you once you install it search for the python see there are two things which have been downloaded one is command line and one is idle line you can write your code on both of them either it idle or command line let us see how command line looks so this is how command line looks here we can write our program like print brackets open quotation hello world quotation and bracket this is the output see here so if you have learned any other programming languages like c c++ or java you need to compile it first and you need to run it then but here you don't don't need to compile your python program because it is a interpreted programming language we don't need to compile it the all the errors will be shown at the run time so see how simple it is in like c c++ or java we should have to first include some header files then we should have to declare a variable and then we should have to assign the variable to the uh, variables and then we should have to compile it first and then run it so in python we just write the command and the program runs at the interpreter level so i will be not using this command line i will be using the idl for our entire course which is which has many advantages i will show you click on the idl this is a command shell same as a command line but it has a little bit more advantages let us first configure it make the font little bit bigger so that you can view it easily let us make it 16 or let us make it 18 for easy readability see here, here we can type our code like print so as soon as we have written the print the color changes because it is a function it changes its color 
so by seeing the entire code itself we can analyze the code which is the function which is the variable which is the string so for string it, there is a different color hello world and if when we press enter it is get executed the hello world is printed how simple it is so this is the command shell we will be using for our entire course duration and for those who are using the mobile devices please go to the online compiler which is coding ground so from next session we will be starting our course